Hello there, stamping friends. This is Jackie Ballheis from Clappin' Stampers. Today, I have some cute cards, two different ones, that are all about friends and your best friend. The stamp set we're using is Badger Besties. It's so stinking cute. Now, you may not know, but I actually grew up in Wisconsin. So right away, when I saw the stamp set and badgers, it's like, hey, Wisconsin's the badger state. So it, it just was kind of fun. I couldn't wait to play with it. Now, if you don't really care for these images, because I know it's you know, they're not like for everybody. The cards that I have to share with you are super cute layouts. They're easy. You could use them with any images. And we're going to focus on coloring with Stampin' Blends. I've got some tips for you if you haven't used the Stampin' Blends Stampin' Up's alcohol markers. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use them and get great results. Make you kind of feel like an artist. And I get asked often how to put the labels on the back of your stamps because typically I don't. Just kind of a personal preference. So I'm going to show you how to put those stickers on the stamps if you choose to do that. So several different tips to share with you today, whether you like the stamps I'm using or not. But I think you're going to find this Badger Bestie stamp set kind of cute. Now quickly, before I flip the camera down, if you're brand new to watching my videos, thank you so much. I hope you love what I share. I hope you learn some tips or two. I try to incorporate lots of stamping tips into all my videos that will help you with all your card making. So if you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. And those of you that come back all the time and watch me, thank you. I truly appreciate you. And please, if you like this and you have crafty stamping friends, share with them as well. Show me some love give me some hearts leave me a comment I'd love to hear from you guys so without further ado I'm ready to get to these projects let's go ahead flip the camera down and let's get to work here's a peek at the stamp set like I said badger besties and I think it's just kind of fun the words that go with it um, cute cards just for any reason to send to a friend so I actually I'm going to do something a little bit different today I'm going to start out by showing you the cards because in today's video I'm not going to make the completed card we're going to focus more on some tips for coloring with those stamp and blends now aren't they just adorable I you know you can't help but smile I think this is a great stamp set to make cards for friends just to send to them for no reason at all now I told you we had some tips as far as putting our stamps together honestly and you guys will watch you know honestly I don't put my stamps on or my labels on my stickers on very often um personal preference I've just always done it that way years ago stamping up labels when you put them on they didn't stick to the block very well well that's completely changed and I just got so used to not using them so I don't but I know a lot of people still do so I want to show you how to put them on and let's see, we've got this one right here. The easiest way to get these on is to peel off this backing paper and leave that label on the sheet. These are super sticky, both sides, the side that goes onto the foam, as well as the side that's gonna go onto your block. Now the, the side that sticks to this foam, once it's stuck, you cannot remove it. So if you don't like where you place it, it, there's no forgiveness in it. You can't peel it up and do it again. So you wanna make sure you're putting it on the right way, or you know, the where you want it the first time. So what I have found is the outline of that will match the outline of your stamp. So if you take your stamp and just figure out what's the best place to kind of hold it in order to line up with some of these curves on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with the tail and then I'm gonna stick those little legs down and just kind of plop it right down on there and line it up the best you can in that opening and then go ahead and peel it up like so. Now, like I said, if this is off, you're not gonna be able to peel this and take it back. Now, they're super sticky on the blocks as well when you stick them on here. So I really recommend that when you're stamping, stamp your image and when you're done with it, take it off. Don't put this on here and leave it for days or whatever because it will get kind of hard to get off. And, and I've had to even use my nail or even like the take your pick tool to kind of get it started because you, you don't want to just grab that rubber. So be a little careful with those. The other thing you can do if you feel it's like too sticky is go ahead and just kind of stick it on your clothing, on your jeans or on your shirt. That actually takes a little bit of that tack off and makes them, you know, not quite so sticky. And I have not had any yet that have got and, um, you know where they've lost that stick so pretty good adhesive whatever it is they use on there now let's go ahead grab our memento pad and I just have two scraps here of basic white 
when you stamp with those Stampin' Blends, you want to make sure you're using the Memento Black. Okay, that will work with those alcohol markers. So there is one of our little guys. Oh, we don't want that one. We want the other one. So let's just grab our other one here and we're gonna go ahead and stamp him on there. And with that memento, you wanna just make sure you give it a couple of minutes to dry. And we wanna make sure it's good and dry before we bring those alcohol markers in so we don't, um, let's see, it doesn't bleed at all. It's gotta be nice and dry. So let's start with this little guy here. And colors I like to use the best were the smoky slate. So we have smoky slate light and smoky slate dark. Now it truly is personal preference whether you like to color first with light or dark. I like the light first. So what I will do is, and I typically, unless it's a super huge um, image, I use the bullet tip, the smaller M, and I'm going to just go ahead and take this light and I will color in a section at a time. Now this is kind of a bigger section, so let's Kind of come over here. We're going to get his little arms and his tummy. You can hear that noise. Um, it's kind of like a scraping, I guess, as you put these down. When I color, I tend to do more circular. Okay, get this all colored in with that light. We'll get his legs while we're at it. Sometimes I'd leave those legs for later. And then we're going to take our dark. And I like to go around usually the left side and add some of this dark. And then wherever you see where Stampin' Up! has put some shading. So see all those little marks? And then when we've got like a leg coming off and want it to look behind, I'll put a little bit there as well. And then sometimes I'll leave, we'll come up here because this is just going to make different parts of his body stand out a little bit better. There, we'll go like so. Then we're gonna come back with this light and I'm gonna do the circular motion and just go right over all of those marks. And you can see how those colors blend. And I'll actually kind of fill it in. It, I'd say it's like layering, layering colors. Okay, you can go over and over. You know, and the nice thing is the more you go over this, you're going to just kind of blend out the, the lines. You know, when you use regular water-based markers, how you kind of get, you know, lines from using them. And you can't really go over and over it because it eventually kind of shreds up your paper. So we're trying to get them a little bit darker there and see how those arms will pop out a little bit more. And then down here, we want that belly to really show. And there we go. So then we'll just move on to another section. We'll do his tail. And why don't we just put some of that dark down at the bottom. And then we'll do our little circular motion and kind of go upward. And as this dries, I think the colors will blend out even a little bit more. You'll see on that finished one. And then up here, we gotta be a little careful because we wanna go around that eye. Let's keep that eye white. And then we're gonna fill in. Um, if you look at pictures of badgers, this piece down their nose and around on the side is actually light, um, almost a white color, but we don't want it like stark white. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do here once we get to that point. So let's put the, putting this dark again around the edges come back with that light, blend it, keep that eye nice and white. And this, this area of their head's actually fairly dark, so we wanna add quite a bit of dark. We'll add a little dark there. Let's go ahead and get his ear. You know what, and I think, let's go with some more, let's get a little more dark down here. So as you can see, as I'm coloring, um, Kind of therapeutic. I love, I never used to like the color until I had these blends, but you can see how you combine the, the two colors and that's why Stampin' Up! sells them as a pair. So you always have those two colors to work with. Oh, where'd my cap go here? Okay, now what I wanna show you is this white part. I don't like it like stark white. We want a little bit of color in there. So what I did is I used the light, okay? And I'm going real light. I'm barely touching it. And you can see those are even little, broken lines almost. And then I'm taking the color lifter. This one you purchase by your, by itself and it actually lifts the color, it kind of fades out color. And you can see how I'm doing that circular motion right around where I put that color and it fades it. And I feel like it blends it a little bit 
you know, out into the middle as well. So our whole um, white area, we'll call it, has just a faint little bit of that, that gray. And then as it dries, it'll lighten even more. But see how that got that nice little light color. Now, the other thing that this color lifter is for, so you can see here where I went out of the lines, we can come and kind of scrub on it, go back and forth. And now as that dries, most of that color will disappear or it'll lighten it a whole lot so you'll barely see it. So that's how we color the badger. And then I like to make them look like they're not really floating in air. So what I did is I took the light crumb cake here. And again, super, it's almost like it's floppy in my hand because I just want to do just these little almost squiggles down here on the ground. But notice how I wasn't like pressing. You didn't even really hear me um, like how you heard me before, but just little, little dabs on there. And that just adds a little bit of shadow and makes it look like we have a little bit of ground on there. So let's pull our cards back. And you can see, here's the one I just colored. So after I colored him, I took my circle dies, the layering circles, cut it out with a circle and then used the one bigger. These come, you get the scalp and the regular ones together. And I went ahead and layered those with some dimensionals underneath it, a piece of Bumblebee designer series paper, and then some greetings. And then this little guy is pretty much the same thing. I used the polished pink on the flower there, and then the polished pink designer series paper. I really like the designer series paper in the color groups. It's kind of like when you have nothing else to use, just pick a great color that coordinates with your project. Now, all of the measurements for these will be over my website. I have pictures of them along with the complete list of supply, and then all the measurements. So if you'd like to make these card I make it super easy for you. And then don't forget your coordinating envelope. This one, I didn't really feel it had an image I wanted to stamp on the en on the envelope. Or No, I didn't. So I just added some of that coordinating designer series paper. So now my cards are ready to send out. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you picked up some tips for using Stampin' Blends. Like I said, I absolutely love to color with these and they're so easy. Um, you know, if you've never tried them, pick a stamp set that you like that maybe only has a couple of colors involved and grab just a couple of colors and give them a try because I bet you you're going to fall in love with them just like I did. As always, if you have questions, please reach out to me. I'm here to help you with all your stamping needs. And if you'd like a Stampin' Up! catalog and if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator on my website, again, the link will be down in the video description. It'll take you over to that website and you can request a catalog and then find the blog post for the details on these cards. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a stamp happy day.